All right, say hi. Hi. All right, Erin has a nail. Show us a nail. And show us whether or not the nail is magnetic. Can it pick up the staples in front of you? No, it cannot. So we are going to make a magnet. And the way that we're going to do that is Aaron's going to take this magnet here and he's going to rub the nail over it in the same direction a whole bunch of times. That's right. Keep going. We it can was test 20, it. It was 20 times. 20 times, okay. Eight, nine, ten. And what we learned about magnets is that metal that's not magnetic has a whole bunch of little tiny north and south kind of domains inside of it, and they're all facing different directions. But when you rub a small, a strong magnet against them in the same direction a whole bunch of times, it lines them up, and then all the norths are facing one way, and all the souths are facing the other way, and it turns into a magnet. Hey, did it work? There you go. So you can see Aaron picked up the I want staples two. with the magnet. I want two. <clears throat> now, Aaron, what can you do to make that nail be not a magnet anymore? Aaron, what can you do to make the nail be not a magnet anymore? Drop it on the kitchen floor. And why will that make it be not a magnet? Because then, um, then the parts inside of it will get all messed up. So they won't be lined up in straight lines with all the norths facing one direction and all the souths facing the other direction. Can I all right, have